For this screencast, we're going to be looking at Apple iBooks Author and how we can enhance it using other Apple applications. For this particular screencast, we're going to look at using Apple Keynote to uh, add content. So, okay, what we have on the screen now is our um, iBooks environment uh, with our uh, Midsummer Night's Dream example that we're using to, to demonstrate this. Um, as you can see, I've got uh, my panel showing the layout, so I'm just going to slide that up just to show you. We've just got some content in here. Now, the first chapter is uh, the life of Shakespeare. We, we, we won't look at that, but what we need to do now is to add another chapter um, so that we can add some further content before we get to the play itself. So with this selected here, I'm going to insert a chapter and I'm going to use my uh, from my layouts called the act. Um, and this is actually what we're going to do is we're going to use um, a book, uh, a real book, a real printed book. Um, so I'm going to take the title of this and put it into this um, section here. Um, and now what I'm going to do is to also replace this image here, which of course is just a placeholder image. And I'm going to get that image uh, in a moment. I'm just going to copy it from somewhere and then paste it in. So I've got that now on my clipboard and I'm going to paste that into here and then move it uh, and edit the mask of this image so that it actually fills the right hand side of this page. So we want it about like this, uh, but of course we want it larger, about like this. Let's edit the mask a little bit more. And we need to just drag that across so that it fills the page. Okay, so this is our this is our page now. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to add our content onto this page. We don't need uh, necessarily another page to do this, although it optionally we can. But we're going to actually uh, put this interactive content um, exactly on this page here, and I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. Okay, let me bring onto the screen now my keynote presentation. So this is Keynote. Um, as you can see, it's a series of frames, if you like, Keynote frames uh, of a spread of each of the pages um, scanned in. Now we are using content from the Folger picture library, uh, for which we're very grateful to have this content so that we can use it to to, to make this demonstration. Um, I've created a presentation here um, using a transition from each one frame, which is basically a page flip. Let me just show you what that looks like as a um, keynote presentation. Just simply click and it moves through the pages. Okay, so this is what we have. Um, now I'm just gonna move this away. So this has been created and saved. Um, so now what I want to do is to bring this uh, Keynote uh, application onto my screen. It's simply saved as a Keynote. Now I can simply drag it on uh, and it will load the Keynote file. Uh, although as you can see up in this menu here, uh, you do have a Keynote uh, widget. But it will automatically create the widget if we just drag it onto the screen. Now, because we don't, we want this to play full screen, we're just going to make this into a very small uh, icon, and we do that by going to our, this panel here. So our widget controller is here. And what we actually want to do is to say we want to play this full screen. Um, we also want to go to our layout, and currently, uh, although I might need to change this later, I'm going to remove the title, the caption, and the background. Um, I mean, needless to say, we might actually want a caption to go with this, but for the moment, we'll we'll turn that off. Um, and I can make this uh, smaller or larger, as you can see. So we'll just put this onto the screen around about here. Um, and now let's have a look at this by um, by previewing this to to show you what this will now look like. So previewing, of course, takes a little bit of time, but it brings it up in iBooks. So here's the page that we've just created. Click over the icon or the, the thumbnail. 
that brings it up full screen and we can simply click through anywhere clicking anywhere on the screen will take us through I mean obviously at the moment the this is very simple in that it simply goes through from uh, from beginning to end we can't go back necessarily unless we use our keyboard to go through I'm just pressing my left arrow to go back through it like that and then forward with the keyboard so the keyboard does allow us to, to go back and forth um, but uh, as you can see clicking once simply takes us um, through from f f f forwards as it were in the follow-on screencast from this we're going to look at more sophisticated techniques with Keynote so that we can add a, a truly interactive uh, presentation within iBooks author.